Hello, History Squirrel here, once again going nuts for history. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing how to make an annotated bibliography. Now I'm going to be using the picture that we found last time. And if you're on loc.gov, the, the website of the Library of Congress, you can see in the description here you have all the information you need for your bibliography. You have your title, when it was created, exactly what it is. Down here you have a permanent link. I'm going to bookmark this record. That's your permanent link. That's what they want you to put in for your URL. So this is all your bibliographic information. And I'm just going to show you what I use to make my annotate bibliography. It's something called Noodle Bib. It's all one word. You're just going to search for it. And we're going to go to it. And it pops up my account since I've logged in before. And I just made a test bibliography here. It's just a little bibliography. So you'll click on that and it has all this stuff that you can play around with. To make the actual bibliography, we're just going to go down here to where it says Works Cited. Click on that. And they have different forms that you can use to make different bibliographies for whatever you're using at that moment. Different citations, that is. So since we're using a photo, we're going to click Photo or Image, Create Citation. And it pops up to this handy little help screen to make sure you're using the right form. We're going to click Continue. And it pops this up. And this is where you have all your stuff. Put in name of the website, that would be Library of Congress, publisher of the website, Library of Congress again, URL, that's the direct permanent link that we had down here at the bottom. Okay. Artist, I don't think that's listed under this one, but a lot of times you'll have an artist, and that will be listed there. And then down here you have your annotation, if you're making an annotated bibliography. Now in your annotation, you want to be at least three sentences. In your first sentence, you're going to want to describe exactly what this thing is that you're citing. In the second sentence, you're going to want to describe how you used it in your project. And in your third sentence, you're going to want to describe how it affected your project. Not just in a physical form, but how it changed the way you thought about your project or thought about the topic itself. And it's really simple. It's a self-explanatory website. They have different forms depending on what you're using. It's a picture you took yourself, whatever. And it's really quite simple. Now this is using the MLA style of bibliography. There are different styles that Noodle Tools offers. Not all of them are free. This Noodle Bib is the MLA Lite free version, but they have other versions that you can play around with. Very good site, very easy to use, and Library of Congress has all this information spelled right out for you, and it's usually pretty easy to figure out if you're on another website as well. And that's all there is, making an anti-bibliography, quite simple. 